Ah, it's a fine, pleasant morning out here in Lake Pleasant. However, today at noon, I'm supposed to be in Prescott at Southwest Crawlers. What time is it right now? Oh, dang, dude, it's 10.15. I still gotta drive an hour north to Desert Billy's house. Pick up the Jeep. And just like that, we're at Jesse's shop, Southwest Crawlers, in the fine city of Prescott. And these guys have wasted no time tearing my Jeep down. But before I show you that, you wanna see a Corvette-powered JK? Of course you do. So anyway, anyway, those of you guys that have been following real closely know that I've been having some serious steering issues on my Jeep, which has basically prevented me from wheeling. If I flex it out too hard on the passenger side, the drag link gets all up into the leaf spring. If I flex it too hard on the driver's side, there's some serious binding with the tie rod and the drag link there. So basically I got a Jeep on 37s that can't run over a curb, which is, well, embarrassing. And I reached out to you guys for a solution and a lot of you guys were like, oh, we'll just go full hydro. And yeah, as cool as that would be, full hydro is really, really expensive. And some of you other guys were like, oh, super easy fix. Just well on a high steer kit. And yeah, that would be a super easy fix if this was a 05, a newer Super 60, which it's not. It would also be pretty simple if it was a Kingpin 60, which it's not. This is an early 90s ball joint 60. And for whatever reason, the aftermarket support for this axle is pretty much non-existent. There's a company called Sky Manufacturing that'll mill down your knuckle and you can put a little arm on top. I just, I didn't really like that, that idea. There's also another company called BP that sells a true high steer kit for this axle. But the problem with welding a high steer kit is the knuckle is made out of cast steel. So you're gonna need to find yourself a competent welder if you're gonna go that route. Lucky for me, I got hooked up with Jesse here at Southwest Crawlers. He's one of the most competent welders here in Prescott. So if you're in Northern Arizona, I highly recommend him. He's got pride and craftsmanship, and I'll say it again, he's got confidence. And those two things in combination, well, they're rare nowadays. Some certain things you gotta do if you're gonna weld the cast. You gotta heat it up first. He has like a little like hammer, hammer bit drill thing that kind of pounds the weld into it further and just there's stuff you need to know if you're gonna do this and like I said he knows it and he also reminds me a lot of our good buddy Kyle Lentz. He's got a purpose-built Yoder rock crawler and uh, you know he's just a really good guy. You guys will meet him here in a second. First let's go see what he's doing. Everybody's obviously heard of message in a bottle. Well, this is letter in a drag link. <laughs> to never be seen again, or maybe, it's like a time capsule. This isn't something he normally does, we just thought it was funny. Final product here, got the drag link over the leaf spring tie rod under. Tried to get the tie rod above too, but uh, it just didn't work out that way with the leaf spring setup. And that'll work. Nice tight steering. 250 walt DOM tubing, this sucker's tough. 
Really excited to have this thing resurrected and back from the dead, ready to hit some trails. This is the man, the myth, the legend. This is the man, the myth, the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> this is the man, the myth, the legend, Jesse from Southwest Crawlers. How's it going? Jesse here at Southwest Crawlers. Come check us out. We're in the Prescott area. So I'm probably gonna get some flack for this RTI ramp flip, but listen, this is an old clapped out YJ on leaf springs. It's not an RTI champion setting records, breaking necks for somebody walking by going, oh my God, look how much flex that old piece of shit YJ has. You know, it just is what it is. And I'm really, really thankful that this thing's just a runner. I'm checking for clearances, everything is golden, there's no binding, and for the first time in a long time, I got a Jeep again, and I'm really, really excited and fired up about it. Huge shout out to Jesse from Southwest Crawlers for making this thing a runner again. Thanks to Desert Billy Bronson and the Wrecked Gear crew for sending me in his direction. And just overall, everyone here in the Prescott area has been just so nice and beyond hospitable. This area as a whole is just an incredible place to be. I'm so thankful to be here. Although, very shortly, it'll be time for us to head south. For warmer weather but I'll leave a link in the description for Jesse at Southwest Crawlers if you want to get some work done I highly recommend him I also want to say thank you to Matthew Bowling I need to give you a proper thank you this isn't it man but thank you so much thanks to all you guys for watching please give this video a like and I will see you on down the road in the next one